everyone, I'm Elvini Tracy and welcome to Bini's Vlog. So it's been a long time for me for like not posting any kind of vlog which takes me uh, talking alone like this because I had been posting a lot of vlogs um, which is about like my campus or my daily life what I have been doing every day in my life so um, I decided to do a bit more different this time and I wanted to uh, like do a, an educational vlog this time and yeah I'm so excited <laughs> so today in this vlog I'm going to do how do I improve my English so uh, I don't know if I'm very qualified to do this kind of video but um, I wanted to help people I wanted to help you guys to like improve your the way you speak in, speak in English and any, anything related to English because um, for your information I'm not a very good speaker before but when I was 16 years old yes around like 2016 I think yes when I was 15 years old yeah I decided to like improve my English because I can't speak English very well so there are a few ways that I did and it is actually works on me and maybe it will works on you guys too so I wanted to share it to everyone and yeah let's start <laughs> So first of all, this is what I have been doing in the past and it actually works on me. And the first tip that I actually did by my own is I actually watch a lot of English shows, especially like cooking show. So, you know, when it, everyone, you know, a lot of people told me like if you wanted to improve your English, you need to watch a lot of movies and then listen to just song or any kind of like Draw any any shows like, but I don't think it is actually works because when you watch drama or movies or songs, you watch you listen to songs, English songs, you are not actually learning. It's like it is being scripted, so it is not like spontaneously. You don't know how to say it in your daily life. But when you watch cooking show, they actually some of the cooking show is not scripted, so. It is good for you to watch it because you will learn how to speak in English for for daily life in your daily life. So you can like as an example, I watch um, the the chef, the Gordon the uh, Lapula. I watch Gordon Ramsay's daughter shows called uh, Matilda Ramsay. She got a cooking show for. For her own cooking show and I watch it a lot it's not like I wanted to watch how she cook but I wanted to watch how she speak and the way her accent I took like around three months to watch her shows and then I learned the way she speaks and how she's like because uh, English is their first language but for us Malaysian our first language is Malay so it is hard for us to be able to speak fluently in English but so the way to improve your English is that you need to watch those shows from a country where their their first language is English like Mathilda Ramsey uh, she is from England and their first language is English so yeah it helps a lot after finding a show you just see the way they speak you just see how they speak spontaneously it is better for you to find a show that they uh, the sh that, that is not scripted like the, it is spontaneously like random sh it's not like a random show it's like they have a script punya show. It's like dorong bercakap macam biasa, macam hari hari kita bercakap begitu. So that it is better for you, and it is like you know you can understand how to use English language every day in your daily life, so that you can improve the way you speak. Secondly, you can also watch a lot of movies or shows. For example, I am a Netflix addict, <laughs> and. They, this is my favorite uh, Netflix shows, uh, which is called has The Crown. This is a British show. Um, 
it is about the Queen Elizabeth and I love watching this show it is because uh, it, they are using British accent I really love British accent their accent is very sexy very like professional like you know they have that kind of standard and yeah I learned a lot about British accent and one of the way where I learn how to speak in their accent is um, by watching Netflix shows you guys can find a lot of British Brit British British English show so yeah you just you just find it in, in Netflix you can find it a lot and one of it is the crown it is very good the storyline is very good it's like a historical show so you can learn history with it and you can also improve the way you speak so that you don't have the Malaysian accent it's not like I'm saying Malaysians have a very bad accent but no because for me like me I'm from Sabah but if Sabah kan, they speak English, they, they have that kind of accent ba, yang accent Sabah punya accent And Malaysia have that kind of accent too, when they speak English We call it Manglish, Malaysia English But it, 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 I'm not saying that it is bad, but to improve your, your speaking skills, to be more professional you, you, It is better for you to learn how to speak it properly, how to pronounce every word properly And yeah Learning accents is not like you are showing off or what. It is to improve your speaking spe your speaking skills so that you sound professional. Thirdly, you can also improve your English skills, um, your English language skills by watching through YouTube channel. Thirdly, you can also improve your English language skills by watching YouTube channel. Yeah, there are a lot of channels in YouTube that is teaching you on how to improve your speaking skills, your listening skills, your writing skills, your reading skills. For an instance, there is a YouTube channel where I learn my English a lot with, which is called English with Lucy. You guys can subscribe to it and there are a lot of videos that will teach you on how to improve the way you speak, the way you like pronounce words because there are some words that is we that uh, we like we pronounce it like wrongly it's not the right pronunciations or we not we do not do we not we do not use it correctly so this YouTube channel actually helped me a lot on my English yes so you guys can subscribe to it uh, English with Lucy and I will put the link down below lastly to improve your English the way you speak, especially you know, on the way you speak. Um, I'm, I'm not saying that I'm a very great speaker, I'm not. I'm, I'm just a beginner. I'm, I'm learning, I'm still learning, I'm a learner. But I think this is the most important part, which like, you know, if you wanted to improve your speaking skills and your English, you just need to be confident. To learn a new language and to master it, you need to be very confident on it. Uh, it doesn't matter if you are doing it wrongly, like you pronounce the word wrongly, or you use the word wrongly, not correctly, or there is a grammatically error in your sentence when you speak it. It doesn't matter. It just, you know, we we don't judge people whenever they they speak. We shouldn't do that. Like, it's I don't know. There's there's nothing wrong in languages when you when you speak, even if you say, it, oh, she said it wrong. It's okay. You are trying, especially if it is not your first language. Like we Malaysian, our first language is Malay, and our second language is English. And if you speak English but you did it wrongly, there's a mistake while you are speaking. It's okay for that because English is not our first language, and you just need to be confident. Like me, <laughs> I did. A lot of mistakes whenever I speak sometimes I do not have that kind of confidence especially when I speak in front of a lot in front of people in front of thousand people like right now <laughs> but it you know yes it took me a few years to completely being so confident with my own English speaking skills I can't speak like this before I can't speak 
openly like this like I, I can't speak English in front of everybody even if my, with my teacher because I, I don't have that kind of confidence but after learning a few years and to improve my after learning and improving my English skills I learned that it is important for you to have that kind of confidence first confidence is the key for you to master a language you know when when you when you when you make a mistake while you are speaking a language like for example you are speaking English and you did make a mistake it's okay as long as you know you are mess ma making mistakes like for me whenever I speak I know I am having a mistake while speaking it like for my previous vlog I, I actually watched my vlog too and then after we watching it a lot I actually realized some of the grammatical errors that I made for using R, is those things you know I, I, I realize my mistakes so that is the reason why you just speak without it, it, it is important for you to just speak without thinking about it so that you will realize what is your mistakes and you won't repeat it again it's like when you speak it and then you know it is wrong and then you will think about it and then you're like oh I did wrong just now I just shouldn't say something like that it's it should be like this it is grammatically wrong you know your mistake when you know your mistake you won't repeat it again so that's how you improve your language that's how you improve yeah your language this is the the ways that I'm talking just now these four ways to improve my English it, that improve my English you can apply this not only in English language you can apply it to another language too because it is flat th these four ways is very flexible to any kind of languages so this is going to be a very short vlog but I really hope that this short vlog will help a lot of people especially those people who wanted to improve their language um, no matter what kind of languages but if you are now having a struggle on English language I really hope that this will help you so that y you can improve the way you speak in English or if you're having any kind of struggles in any kind of languages you can also use this kind of way to learn a new language to master a new language so yeah I'm not a very qualified person I'm not a teacher I'm not someone who learn about language deeply until PhD apa semua no I'm not I'm just a young girl from Sabah <laughs> learning English so I just wanted to share this knowledge to everyone and in the hope of um, I, I really hope that this will like helps you guys so yeah thank you so much for watching and I, I i wanted to say thank you for those people who subscribe and those people who always share my videos and yes thank you so much for yeah thank you so much for that <laughs> so yeah i really hope you guys enjoy this video and see you guys in the next video bye